Hello there everyone and uh, welcome to uh, CC100 and for today's topic I will going to discuss all about computer. Uh, this is chapter 2 by the way and uh, I haven't recorded the uh, chapter 1 since uh, uh, yun nga, nag -live tayo dun, mga, nag -live tayo last time. And then this chapter 2 is uh, hinati ko siya sa dalawang part. So this is the first part. Okay, so for these topics, uh, or for this topic, ito yung pinaka pag usapan natin. So, what is computer, characteristic of computer, and the categories of computer. So, para hindi humaba itong video na to, uh, let's start by defining what is a computer. A uh, computer is, it is an electronic device that performs rapid computation. So, we know that a uh, computer is primarily made for computing uh, for computations way back then and generates now uh, computations and generates desired output for user based on input data and programs uh, computer can capture store retrieve and process data pag sinabi nating data uh, ito yung uh, unprocessed uh, information this is a raw data no? data uh, or data can be uh, uh, numbers, characters, audio, video, images, and many more. So, ngayon, uh, narinig natin yung data and then information. And then, more likely, uh, we interchange th those uh, words, ano, the data and information. So, ngayon, pag-usapan natin what is or what are the difference between data and information. So basically, data, as I said, ano, it is a collection of unprocessed, uh, unprocessed uh, items, which include text, numbers, images, audio, and video. Yeah. So ngayon, ang information naman po, it conveys meaning and useful uh, to people. So meaning to say, uh, information, it is a processed data. Okay, so data, it is a unprocessed an unprocessed items okay so pagkay na process na natin yung data natin ang tawag na natin sa kanya is information so let me give an example uh, i have here uh, employees profile for example from uh, 123 delicious radio incorporated and so i have a uh, three employees namely si Jewel uh, si Jewel Pan uh, she's a female born nung uh, January 1, 1990 from Kamanatuan City. So, uh, we have uh, Sawyer Brown. Uh, he is a male. October 2, 1991 ang birthday niya. And he is from Bulacan. And then we have Sky Stewart. She's, uh, he is a male. Uh, born nung uh, July 25, 2010 and from Kamanatuan City. So, as you can see, we have a lot of data in here. So, number one, ang pwede nating consider na data dito, they have picture. Okay, so we have three picture in here. So, that is an example of data. Jewel Pan, si, uh, yung name nila ano, can be considered as data also. Female, birthday, as well as yung uh, kung saan sila nakatera or kung saan sila nagre-reside. Now, uh, ano naman yung difference or paano kapag ka na-process na natin yung data? Di ba nag-turn na siya into information? So, ano yung mga information na po pwede natin ma-consider based dito sa data natin? So, uh, pansinin natin tong dashboard natin. Uh, on our dashboard, we can say that based on our uh, last uh, slide, meron tayong two mail dalawang male, and then we have uh, one female employees. So, yan, yung uh, two male and one female employees na yan, that is an information. Kasi ipinarasis natin based dun sa kanilang gender, ano, uh, based dun sa kanilang gender, nalaman natin na dalawa yung male and then isa yung female. Another example is, they are two employees that uh, are residing in Nueva Ecija because meron dyan isa yung taga Bulacan. Okay. So, and then we have minor employee. Uh, paano natin nalaman na meron tayong minor employee? 
Uh, let's take a look again dun sa ating uh, employee's profile. So, mapapansin nyo si Sky Stewart. Uh, he is a male, July 25, 2010, ang kanyang birthday. So, meaning to say, today, as I recorded this video, uh, today is 2021. So, 2021. And then, imaminus natin yung uh, date of uh, ano niya, date of birth niya. Is, o yung year nung uh, birth niya is compute natin na he is 11 years old. So, is considered as a mi uh, minor employee. So, of course, uh, this is not a real-world example. Ano? Pero, um, ayan, makikita nga natin na meron tayong minor employee. Nakapag-generate tayo ng information based dun sa data na available sa atin. And then we have here, Sawyer Brown will become 31 years old next month. Kasi ngayon po ay uh, September. As I recorded this video nga po. No? September. Ang birthday niya is October 2. So, based dun sa uh, birthday niya, nakapag-provide tayo ng information. So, those are the difference or yun yung pagkakaiba ng ating data and information. Again, data, it is a collection of unprocessed items like images, picture, uh, uh, images, uh, audio, video, text, numbers, etc. Now, the information, it is a processed data. Na ginag na, uh, bakit natin siya ipinaprocess para mas magamit ng mga users or ng, ng ibang tao. Now, uh, computer is a versatile device. Uh, pag sinabi nating uh, versatile device, it is uh, the meaning is uh, able to adapt or be adapted to many different functions or activities. Ano kaya niyang sumunod kahit saan? Ano? So, uh, Since uh, kaya niya ano, ano, mag-adapt sa many different functions or activities, ito ngayon yung most important characteristic ng isang computer. So, computers, uh, speed. Ayan, ano? So, importante, uh, isa sa karakteristik ng, uh, ng computer is yung speed. The factor that affects the computer speed are number of cores, Yun nga yung narinig nyo, uh, meron siyang uh, quad core, apat na core, ano? so uh, two cores, yun na narinig nyo kapag bumibili kayo ng, uh, ng cellphone o di kaya bumibili kayo ng computer. So narinig ninyo yung dami ng cores, ilang cores ba yan? Ano? So na-indicate doon. Ano? So may factor yon sa bilis ng computer. We have graphics card or yung uh, alam natin na uh, GPU. or yung graphics processing unit now which we will going to talk about those uh, this ano ano uh, parts of uh, computer or components of computer so we have uh, me memory cache uh, ito yung ram na alam natin so nakaka ano din po yan and then we have uh, clock speed most importantly so uh, medyo mahaba-habang usapin ang uh, clock speed and but but anyways ano ang uh, mai-extract na lang po natin dito with regards dun sa ating uh, characteristic is ang uh, nakakapag uh, nakakaapekto sa bilis ng uh, isang computer is etong apat po na ito na we have number of cores, graphics card, memory cache, clock speed and actually there are a lot of uh, Uh, other things na pwedeng maka-apekto dun sa speed ng computer. Let's say for example, yung uh, storage device mo, ano, pero primarily ito yung mas uh, mas nakaka-apekto sa computer. So, isa sa karakteristik ng computer yan, ano, the speed. Then, uh, we have accuracy. Ano, computer can ensure consistently very uh, very high degree of accuracy in computations. Ano, so kailangan ang computer is accurate. Ano, so accurate it process it is because it process data according to the sequence of instructions. Hence, uh, if input data and uh, procedures are correct, the output will be consist uh, consistently accurate. Okay, so kapag hindi naging accurate yung computer natin, ano, more likely hindi siya magiging reliable, ano, hindi natin siya magagamit ng uh, in our daily, in our day-to-day -day basis. So next is the uh, huge storage and fast retrieval. 
ang factor na nakaka-affect dyan is yung ano ba yung ginagamit natin ng type ng storage. And then yung sa fast retrieval naman, uh, gaano ba kadami yung RAM natin? Ano? Hindi naman uh, porke madami kang... Uh, hindi yung number of RAM, ano, hindi yung bilang ng actual na RAM yung binibilang natin. Kasi baka mamaya meron kang RAM dyan na apat, pero taga 256 MB lang naman po siya. So, uh, mas malaki pa din yung kapag meron kang isang uh, RAM, tapos mas mataas or sabihin natin uh, it has a 32 GB. Diba? So, kahit na isa lang yung RAM natin, uh, we're talking about here dun sa may uh, pinaka storage capacity talaga ni RAM. As well as, of course, yung ating uh, hard disk or solid state drive ano, na ginagamit. Okay, so we will going to talk about that on uh, uh, our part 2 sa components pa din. Ano. So uh, this is more likely an introduction to uh, part 2, yung mga components of computer. So uh, again, huge storage and fast retrieval. Uh, isa yan sa important characteristic ng isang computer. So next is uh, versatility or pagiging versatile. Hindi na lang natin nagagamit ang uh, computer so for basic arithmetic operations. Napakadami na nating uh, uh, nagagamit kay computer. You name it. Ano from uh, from multimedia, uh, video editing, audio editing, um, computation, data processing and many more. Okay, so kaya versatile yung ating uh, computer. Next one is uh, fatigue free, ano? Of course, um depende din ito sa computer pero uh, kapag kayo ano natin yung isa sa karakteristik uh, yung karakteristik ang pinag-uusapan natin, dep- it depends upon the situation kasi ano, uh, kasi pwede natin sabihin na uh, fatigue free si computer pero bakit parang uh, ang, ang bagal-bagal ng computer ko ano. So Uh, of course, uh, it supports uh, different uh, components na or it depends upon the, the different components na naka-install dun sa ating computer. Ano? It can perform basic arithmetic operations with the same degree of speed and accuracy for any extent of, uh, of time continuously with the same amount of efficiency as the first transaction. So, kumbaga, uh, kung ano yung transaction na ginawa niya dun sa may una, Uh, ganun lang din yung uh, ginagawa niya sa susunod and then sa mga susunod pa. Hindi uh, compare sa atin, 'di ba, kapag habang dumadami na yung uh, trabaho natin. Compare ano, compare naman doon sa may computer. Pagka tayo po ay uh, mada- masyadong madami nang ginagawa, napapagod din tayo. Okay, so si computer, yung uh, kung meron siyang well equipped na hardware, ano, so makakitaan natin siya ng uh, fatigue free na karakteristik. So next, uh, programmable. Ayan. So uh, computer can be programmed to functions automatically and this differentiates it from uh, any other calculating device. So unlike dun sa may ibang device na for example, uh, flashlight, di ba? Sa flashlight. Si flashlight po kapag uh, binuksan natin, inon natin siya and then in-off. O di kaya meron siyang level of light kung gaano kalakas yung uh, ibubuga niyang uh, ilaw. Ano yung uh, ilalakas niyang ilaw. So, yun lang yung kayang gawin nung, nung flashlight. Unlike sa computer, ano, marami kang po pwedeng gawin. Ano, since ang computer nga po is programmable. It functions as program for any stretch of time until the condition to terminate is satisfied. Kaya nga uh, versatile si ano eh no, si computer kasi uh, hindi lang siya naka-stick dun sa isang uh, nowadays ano, hindi lang siya naka-stick kung ano ba yung pagkakagawa sa kanya. No, marami siyang po pwedeng gawin from calculations again to uh, video editing, audio editing, uh, processing data, typing documents, presenting uh, PowerPoint presentations, slides and many more. Now, uh, the next one is, uh, I think this is the last one, okay? So, of the characteristic of a computer. Networking capability. It has uh, the ability to uh, connect to other network, primarily sa uh, internet, or po pwede rin naman sa local area network. Ano? So, you're going to uh, learn that in your 
networking subject. Ano? Network extend the capability of computers. Network provide basic infrastructure for electronic communication. So, uh, dahil dun sa may network natin na to, ano, we can communicate from one PC to another. Ano? So, siguro sa inyo, uh, yung iba sa inyo is nakapag-try na nung uh, peer-to-peer network uh, connection. Uh, yung which is gumagamit lang tayo ng ka- uh, cable to cable ano kaya siya tinawag na uh, peer to peer so PC PC ano hindi tayo gumagamit ng router and then uh, we can uh, we can be able to transfer uh, files from one computer to another so yun yung power ng ating network okay so hindi syempre of course ano uh, magandang example din diyan yung sa internet ano you can uh, reach out or you can download uh, another uh, other files from other server other computers diba so ganun lang din naman kasi ang basic concept ng ating network so kapag nagda-download tayo we uh, fetch information from other computer which anong computer ano uh, which we will going to talk about sa mga susunod lang na slides natin now uh, yan yung mga karakteristik ni computer pag-usapan naman natin yung mga categories ng uh, computer. Okay, so uh, industry ex- uh, industry experts typically classify computers in six categories. Okay, so meron daw siyang six categories yung uh, computers natin. We have a personal computer or yung tinatawag nating desktop. Uh, we have mobile computers and mobile devices. Pangalawa yan, ano? We have game consoles, mainframes, supercomputers, and then the last one, the embedded computers. So, anim na categories ang ating mga computers. Diba? So, dun nga sa ating uh, first lesson, uh, nung, kung naka-attend kayo ng ating uh, online uh, live discussions, so, diniscuss natin dun na si, uh, yung mga mobile devices can be classified as uh, computers as well. So, saan ba na determine ang uh, categories ng computer ano basically ano computer size speed processing power and price so usually yun yung mga uh, based dun nga sa mga industry expert ano dun nila na classify yung six categories ng computers but now ano uh, the trend of computer devices with technolo- uh, with technologies that overlap uh, kumbaga nag overlap na sila kasi pansinin po ninyo na we have a uh, camera ngayon or we have cellphone na uh, way back then kung i-compare mo yung uh, number of megapixels or kung gano'ng ka, uh, ka-powerful yung camera natin ng cellphone ngayon eh baka mas mat- matatalo niya yung mga Digicam na ginagamit natin before kung nakagamit ang ng Digicam. So ang tawag natin doon sa nag overlap yung uh, technology ano technology overlapping is technological convergence ano the trend or phenomenon where two or more independent technologies integrate and uh, form a new outcome ayan so katulad nga noon ang cellphone ngayon is hindi na lang siya for call and text ano uh, nagagamit na rin natin siya for editing documents for uh, powerpoint presentations even Uh, sa pagre-remote, di ba? Pag uh, kumisang ginagamit natin yung smartphone natin kapag uh, gusto natin mag-remote ng, uh, ng TV or something. And then yung example natin kanina, yun ng uh, camera. Di ba? So, pwede na natin uh, gamitin o parang all-in-one na nga talaga ngayon yung ating mobile devices. So, ang tawag natin doon na nag-overlap ngayon technology is technological convergence. So, pag-usapan muna natin si uh, personal computers, yung ating first category. A computer uh, that can perform uh, all of its input, processing, output, and storage activities itself, ay tawag natin doon is uh, personal computer. Okay, personal. Ano? So, sa sarili mo, ganun na. So, ikaw lang yung nakakagamit. Ano-ano ba yung mga personal na gamit? Toothbrush, ba diba? So, hindi mo nang po pwede siyang i-share. Uh, a personal computer contains a processor, meron na siyang processor, uh, memory, and uh, one of um, uh, one or more input, output, and storage devices. So, we have two types of uh, PC. We have uh, desktop computer and then notebook computer. So, ano ba ang pagkakaiba ng desktop computer sa notebook computer? Okay? So, ang desktop computer 
is designed so that uh, the system unit, uh, input device, output device, or uh, any other device fit entirely on or under a desk or table. Okay, so yun yung mga typical na nakikita natin sa computer shop. Yun yung mga, yun yung mga tinatawag natin na desktop or PC. Di ba nga, sabi natin, uh, napagkakamalan na nga natin na parehas lang yung uh, PC and then desktop. Pero according to our uh, category, pinaka category niya talaga si personal computer. Under lang niya si desktop computer. Kasi meron pa tayo isang type which is yung notebook or mas kilala natin sa tawag na laptop. Okay? So dalawa ang personal computer. We have desktop computer. Yung nakikita natin may tower na ganyan. Yung system unit ang tawag natin sa kanya. Not CPU. Okay? So, and then we have a uh, laptop or notebook computer. Actually, nagka, uh, nagkaroon nga yan ng ano, ano uh, kung naririnig nyo pa before, meron pa tayong uh, netbook, notebook, and then laptop. Okay? So, before, nagkaroon ng ano dyan, ano, nagkaroon ng, uh, ng debate with regards to, to those uh, uh, technologies, those type of uh, laptop. Okay? So, Pagka, daw, uh, pagka netbook, ito yung pinakamaliit na, uh, na computer na nakikita natin or baka naabutan nyo before. And then we have uh, notebook, yung mas malaki sa kanya. Ayun nga, kasi nga nadedetermine ang uh, categories ng computer based on uh, isa sa categories, uh, sa isa sa tinitignan doon is yung sizes. So kapag daw laptop, mas malaki dun sa notebook computer. So since meron nga tayong technological convergence, Ayan. So nag-overlap na siya, no? Ka hindi lang sa size, hindi lang sa power, uh, yung capabilities na din yung uh, tinitingnan natin ngayon. So, uh, notebook computer is also called a laptop computer. This is a portable na po pwede nating uh, it is, uh, this is designed to fit on your lap. Kaya nga siya tinawag na laptop. Okay? So lightweight and then uh, yung ibang uh, ano, yung uh, ibang laptop ano is more powerful pa dun sa desktop ano uh, napapansin niyo naman kapag uh, mayroong gaming laptop ano ego compare mo lang sa dun sa may uh, mga uh, ginagamit mo sa computer shop for example na hindi naman ganoon ka high powered mas powerful talaga yung uh, katulad nung uh, ROG ayan yung mga tough gaming mga example natin so Next category is uh, yung tinatawag nating mobile computers and mobile devices. They are both, uh, both considered as personal computer pa din, ano? so that you can carry from place to place. They are small enough to hold in your hands. Ano? So maliliit lang itong mga computers na ito. Ano? Ang example ng mobile computers natin is yung tinatawag natin na tablet PC or yung uh, tablet Okay, so kaya lang siya naka-close and open parenthesis sa mobile computer. That is an example of uh, mobile computer as you can see in our slide. So we have uh, smartphones, uh, personal digital assistant or PDA, ang tawag natin sa kanya, e-book readers, uh, we have handheld computers, portable media players, yung mga MP3, kung naabutan yung, yung mga bi uh, before yun, mayroon pang MP4, MP4, MP5 yata no, na yan na nabibili sa, uh, sa mall. So we have digital cameras. Yan yung mga example ng mga mobile devices natin from item number 2 to number 7. Okay, so uh, ngayon, uh, I think siguro na uh, alam ko naman na nakakita na kayo ng tablet ng smartphone, uh, maybe siguro yung e-book readers. Ang e-book readers is kinakarga, ang mga kinakarga dito is yung mga PDF, yun siya, and then meron siyang mga settings na uh, pang night mode, ganun, yung brightness na, na iaano mo sa kanya, ano, na-adjust mo yung brightness niya. Uh, the purpose of these e-book readers talaga is uh, for reading purposes lang talaga siya. Ang medyo hindi tayo familiar dito is yung uh, PDA kasi ito yung mga ginagamit before ano matagal na tong mga ano na to ano. PDA and then we have handheld computers. Portable media player nga MP3, MP4 and then sabi ko kanina MP5 and then digital camera. Yan so ngayon i uh, compare natin ano ba yung personal digital assistant or PDA and then ano ba yung handheld 
computers. Kasi ito yung mas uncommon sa, uh, sa atin. Pagka sinabi po natin PDA, ano, often look like a uh, smartphone. Ano, actually, parang silang pareho. Ano, silang dalawa ay uh, parang computer uh, or parang cellphone rather. Uh, para silang smartphone. Pero po ang PDA, okay, kaya siya sinaw, tinawag na personal digital assistant, is ang nagagawa mo lang sa kanya or ang mga applications lang sa kanya uh, sa mismong PDA na to is uh, sa uh, calendar, Uh, appointment book, address book, calculator, and notepad. Yun lang yung kaya mong gawin dun sa my PDA. Unlike handheld computers, ano, handheld computers sometimes referred to as uh, UMPC or Ultra Mobile uh, Personal Computer. It is a computer that is small enough. Computer, ano? Computer po siya talaga, ano? Computer that is small enough to fit in our hand. Uh, ito ay ginagawa sa mga or ginagamit ng mga industry specific ano uh, and then makikita nyo to kapag uh, sa mga parcel delivery uh, kung may mga nagpapapirma sa inyo kapag uh, for example magre-receive kayo ng uh, ng uh, parcel sa Lazada ano so yung ginagamit nila na yon that is an example of handheld computers. Okay, meron din siyang uh, kuminsan ang mga handheld computers is capable din na makapag-send over internet and meron din silang network. So, yun yung difference ng uh, PDA sa handheld computers. And of course, different naman dyan yung smartphone. Okay, so smartphone, PDA, and, and handheld computers are completely different things. Ayan. So, sabi ko nga, Baka sa future, again, baka sa future since we have a technological um, overlap or yung technological convergence, eh, po pwedeng ma-face out or, or wala na si handled computers and uh, makalimutan na natin si PDA. Ang ginagamit na lang natin is, is smartphone. Since ang smartphone din ngayon nga, di ba, uh, capable of uh, doing uh, or capable din siya ng makapag-recognize ng stylus ano, for signature or for other matters. Now, the next category is uh, game consoles. Ayan. So, sa mga gamers dyan sa inyo, ano, so, uh, probably meron ka, you, you own one of these uh, game consoles. Ano, so, uh, game consoles, it is a mobile computing device designed for a single player or multiple player video games. Uh, standard console use handheld controllers. Ayan. So, katulad nung uh, sa may PSP, PlayStation, ano, um, pwede din siyang i-output sa television screen. Ayan. So, meron kuminsan siyang hard disk. Iba naman, CD ang ginagamit. And then, memory cards for uh, storage. Para kapag, uh, for example, meron kang uh, level na natapos, nasa-save And then po pwede kang doon mo na lang ituloy doon sa may particular level na yun. Ano? So, we have Nintendo Wii, uh, Xbox, yan yung mga example natin, or PlayStation, yan yung mga example natin oh, ng uh, mga game consoles. Okay, so the next category of uh, computer, uh, yung tinatawag natin na mainframe computer. They are large computer, expensive, powerful, that can handle... Uh, hundred or thousands of connected users simultaneously. Ibig sabihin, sabay-sabay ano, na merong uh, gumagamit dito sa mainframe computers natin. Mainframe uh, stores tremendous amount of data, instruction, and information. And most of uh, major corporations use mainframe for business activities. So, medyo nakakalito kapag... Uh, pinag uh, parang ang idea niya is yung PDA at saka yung handheld computers ano so kuminsan uh, pag naririnig natin yung mainframe computers and yung next category natin which is yung supercomputer uh, na pag ano uh, na medyo nag napagpapalit natin sila or uh, akala natin na yung mainframe eh siya na din si supercomputer which is uh, they are completely different ano so si supercomputer po Okay, unahin muna natin si supercomputer. Supercomputer is the fastest and most powerful computer. So, uh, 
and the most expensive. Ano, kumbaga mahal na yung eh, expensive na yung uh, si mainframe, mas expensive pa po si supercomputer. The fastest supercomputers are capable of processing more than 1 quadrillion instructions in a single second. Imagine mo yan, ano? So sa 1 second, 1 uh, quadrillion instructions yung kaya niyang uh, i-process. Diba? So, ang main fo, ang mga ginaga, uh, saan ba ginagamit ang uh, supercomputers? So, sa mga usually yan sa predictions, uh, like um, weather prediction. Ayan. So, yung mga weather prediction na yun, ang mga ginagamit natin dyan is supercomputers. Now, ang mainframe computers naman, on the other hand, is more likely for uh, storing uh, data. Gano siya no and then marami siyang uh, ang, ang ang talagang hina-handle niya is maraming client, madaming connection. Ano kaya nga ang mainframe po is napakadaming uh, port niyan. Ano so if you want to have uh, an in-depth uh, ano information with regards dun sa may difference between supercomputers and mainframe ano. Uh, meron ako ditong i uh, ano uh, ilalagay siguro sa description ano so punta kayo dun sa ano kay uh, Tech uh, Quiki ayan so mapapanood niyo diyan ano meron ito yung hanapin po ninyo ano so supercomputer as fast uh, as fast as possible and then what are uh, mainframes so yan ano so kinumpare niya diyan kung uh, those are different videos by the way and then mapapansin niyo diyan ano yung content niya is pinag-compare niya kung ano yung difference between uh, supercomputer and then mainframe computers. So uh, I have listed in here also uh, based dun sa na research ko uh, sa internet uh, geeks for geeks.org ayan so difference between supercomputer and mainframe computers. So, so kung gusto niyo nga mag, uh, mag makita kung ano ba yung in-depth differences between kung saan ba ginagamit si supercomputer and then ano ba yung uh, main forte ni mainframe computer. Okay, so, and then the last one, we have uh, the embedded computers. Embedded computers are special purpose computer that functions as a component in a larger product. Kaya nga siya tinawag na embedded computers. Ano, part lang siya. So, these are the examples ng mga embedded computers. We have consumer electronics, uh, like digital TV. Ano, so, we have DVD players. Ayan. So, uh, yung palang DVD player, ano, makukonsider natin as computer. Ano, pero anong klaseng computer? Embedded computer siya. Ano, so, we have home automation devices like thermostat ano, sa, mga, sa mga aircon. Ano, we have sprinkling system, appliances, CCTV. Ayan, so home up, uh, automation devices. Sa automobiles, we have engine control modules. Sa mga may sasakyan dyan, ano, alam to. Ano, we have airbag controllers. So, uh, bakit ba uh, or paano bang bigla lumalabas yung, uh, yung airbag? Ano, Siyempre, meron siyang mga sensors. Yung mga sensors na yan is meron siyang programmable chip or uh, micro devices na... Na programmable siya no so based dun sa may kung ano yung functions na gusto mong uh, gawin noong uh, microcomputer mo na yon or micro device mo na yon so we have uh, process control uh, process controllers and robotics for medical devices ano so for example ano yung nakikita niyo dun sa TV uh, kapag ka nanonood kayo ng movie yung nagpipik na gano kapag ka nag flatline na siya is yung namamatay na siya so yun yung mga example ng mga medical devices natin Uh, yung pagka yung kinakaskas na ganun, yung clear, sasabihin na ganun. So, example din ng medical devices yon So, remote monitoring systems. And then, we have computer devices and office machines like keyboard, yan, printer. Yan, computer pala yan, mga yan, ano? So, keyboard, printer, copy machine. And again, uh, what type of computer, what category of computer, they are what we call embedded computers. So, those are Uh, categories of computer. On the part 2 ng ating uh, chapter 2, we're going to discuss the basic function of computer and then ano ba yung mga main components. So, doon natin pag-uusapan si RAM, si CPU, si GPU, para saan ba sila. Ano? So, yung mga type ng storages natin. 
And then, ano ba yung SSD? Ano ba yung hard disk drive? Ano ba yung mga ports? Ano ba yung sound cards? So, more likely, ganun yung mga pag-uusapan natin in part 2 ng ating chapter 2. Uh, but for now, this is the end of uh, our uh, chapter 2, part 1. Uh, all about computer. We discuss uh, categories of computers, what are the characteristics of a computer, and what is computer. So, uh, again, thank you for listening and uh, see you on the next video.